And we're back. I got two opponas running around because I scanned both my my uh, Smash Link amiibo card and then my Smash Link amiibo, and they both summoned an opponent because even though I have an opponent in my stable, it's from the last game, so it doesn't count. But I already got the Twilight set, so I'm not too worried about that. Anyways, Blood Moon. Th that wasn't timed. Ooh, that was cool coming through the out of your get your horse butt out of the way. All right, well that's happening. So, anyways, last time after no, going on a moon shines upon the land. yeah, after going on a huge detour underneath the lookout landing that led to the castle, um, that took a lot of time, and then I got distracted and wanted to keep going. But for right now. Hold on, I forgot. There's also a well here that I completely missed. Just so we can mark it off the list for that one lady. Ah, new... A new well also... Er, sorry. Okay, her. So we found a couple. Ah. Hey, it's you. I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule, but new wells are pretty interesting too, like this one. Huh? Oh, hey. Oh, have you come to tell me about... Yep, got more. Well, we found like six. Ah. So eight of... Okay. Oh, you 10 rupees per location. Okay, that's fine. 49. I thought there was some old tool for searching for things. Okay. I think she's saying, it's just like, man, if only there was a Purapad ability that could help you find that kind of stuff. Oh, I was thinking. <laughs> okay. Royal Claymore. Okay, that's good. Uh, scanning my amiibos. What do I want to get rid of? I'm supposed to get rid of the soldier Claymore. Okay, anyways. Wee. So, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go hit up some more towers. La yes, we got a Kala. We got some shrines. Because, yeah, at least my mind is... We want to go after shrines, we want to go after towers, and the more towers we unlock, the easier it'll be to go after shrines. So, just because after launching from the Lanayru Tower, I got pr a pretty good shot towards the Elden Tower, so I figured let's go there, try to get that tower, and then we'll work from there. So, and yeah, my thought is just sort of like, I want to get my third stamina wheel. So... I don't know if it's exactly what I want to do, if I want to not, um, you know, get the third stamina wheel, and then, you know, basically like another 16, um, shrines, and then once we get the third stamina wheel, then go after the next, uh, major character's thing, like in Gerudo, yeah, in the Gerudo Desert. So, you know, go after the main next, the next main plot point, after, you know, hitting up more, enough shrines to get the third stamina wheel. Even though I should be getting more hearts. That down there kind of looks like the Sheikah Slate. Okay. There's a shrine there. The thing is, we get such a bird's eye view, I'm not worried about marking stuff, really. Because we should... That's next to a stable. Okay. Well, I say that. At least mark some. So, so, so I'm not pulling up the camera every five seconds. I can just take stock next time I launch from the tower. Because you know, you see that one there, but I don't want to get too close to the mountain in case something happens. Pretty close. <sighs> okay, just far enough. If I had my third stamina wheel, I could be there by now. <laughs> I say that as if it's anyone else's fault but mine. There we go. 
Just stand still for a second. Come on. So yeah, sorry, we're going here. Just relatively early morning, at least earlier than it's been for me because my sleep schedule is just completely screwed. <sighs> kind of on call for work today, so just like waiting, even though I know I'm going to be upset if I get called in. <laughs> Being this close to the Elden Tower will also give us good access to the Korok Forest because we should really check that out too. What's the catch for this place? It looks like it's also torn open. Because, you know, I'm also assuming well, most of the towers have been, you know, easy to fix or easy to activate. Okay, it's locked. Well, the top's off, so we just... The door is broken and won't open. Let's see, maybe if you use the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without a way to get inside, we're kind of stuck. Well, this is the top of the tower, so that means we just gotta get to... We just find a spot to rest and get our stamina. Or... That could also be our ticket in. That works too. Otherwise, yeah, we could <clears throat> climb or, you know, take that stone up, but... This seems like it's working. There we go. A little bit more. Yeah. Alright, Elden Tower. At least the towers are a little bit different. Um, you know. Well, you know, some of the towers in Breath of the Wild, you know, the towers were cool. Because sometimes you had to climb them in certain ways, or you had to find a way to get to the base of it. Or, you know, try to figure out how to get to the towers to start climbing anyways. I was right, using the terminal did open the door. Thank you, that was a big help. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. But meanwhile, these towers, we got... <clears throat> Sorry, these towers, yeah, maybe a little side quest or a quick mission to do just to get it open or active. And then they launch you into the sky, giving you great access to pretty much everything in the air. Uh, you know, giving you good access to see what's around you. That shrine is right next to the entrance of the, uh, the forest. So it's just so nice. And really cool and kind of beautiful. <laughs> but there we go. Death Mountain. Not many islands around it. I suppose they all got blown up by a volcano explosion or something. <laughs> Uh, there's one, an island, like, right here. Ooh! Just, like, a whole network of islands.
battery. Okay, so these can go for a while. For some reason, I was hoping that would explode. <laughs> Why don't we do this? Okay. Because, I suppose we could take that back. Okay, hold on. Because if we just take... There we go. Because I did see a video about this where it's just sort of like, you know, after doing the sled, I saw a video pop up of my YouTube recommendations where it's just sort of like, you know, make a real life skateboard. I realized what the plan was, but, you know, watching it... You can rail grind by making a minecart uh, thing, and that's really cool. But I don't think I can mine, cr or, you know, rail grind up. So let's just reverse this and take this back. I didn't even attack with the cobble crusher. Uh, how? Oh, right. It's just like, well, how do we get up there? Where's a good place to climb? Right, ascend. But yeah, so just saw a video and then I started seeing it on Twitter of just people taking... Hold on. Yeah, of people, so like, yeah, uh, rail grinding and using the, um, sorry, using... Oh, okay. Uh, do I have... Well, the Crabble Crusher won't last much longer, but... <laughs> Sorry, anyways, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, rail grinding with a minecart shield, which is awesome. I really gotta increase the battery power on these. Sages will. Still need to know what those do. Okay, thank you, Sidon. I don't know why I completely froze up there. That was mostly Sidon. He just tapped the guy, he got caught in his own fire, and that was it. <laughs> I was hoping he would at least burn. I was also could have ascended that whole time. Oh well. Killian Pinecone. All right. Hey, we're the goal was tower and shrine hunting, so we're doing both. Oop. Oh god. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that worked out just fine. But that's cool. And so, you know, just keep a skateboard on hand. Another island over there. Another chest. Okay, hold on. I suppose we'd launch from there. It's just like, that's probably the best way to do it. Okay, let's take out the gotcha thing. Yeah, just sort out. Okay. 
Sorry, there's so much stuff and you can use all of it that's like, okay, sorting is not as useful as it used to be because there's just so much more utility to everything. So it's just like everything gets lost in the shuffle. Hydrants, big wheels. Okay, cool. I was wondering when I'd find those. Still one thing to get, and also little batteries. Nope. I'd like to try, you know, um, getting five of the giant charges and then using those up. Or using the O's up in one batch. See if anything special happens, or if it just works the same. I feel like we still didn't get... Okay, fans. Alright, I missed it. Okay, but there we go. Uh, before I get too off track, let's go to the shrine. Katakunar. Or Kata... Kata Unar. Sorry. Kata Unar? Kata Unar. <clears throat> so yeah, shrines, towers. We'll see what we can we can do. Although I'm also very close to Korok Forest from here, so it's just like, ah, tempting. Water makes a way. Oh yeah, right there, it's showing the, you know, the cooled lava rock. But if we just pick up a hydrant... Gotta maintain it for a second, but... Hot, hot. <laughs> Let's see in case I've fallen again. There we go. It's a little uh, weighted wrong, but it works. Um, yeah, I got another dusk bow uh, in the amiibo drops. Again, part of me feels bad for using the amiibos because I'm definitely throwing off the game pounce a little bit, but I also want stuff. Okay, I see what they're trying to tell me here. Um, but... Well, this should... Okay, don't know why the Rock Crusher specifically didn't work. But, you know, it's put a Claymore there. You can pick up one of the Lava Rocks. Pick up the damn thing. Activate it. I dipped a little bit in the lava. There we go. Yeah, using rewind to put a platform where you or where you need it to be is really cool. All right, fifteen to go if I want to reach the my um, arbitrary goal. Ah, oh, jeez, sorry, neck. Okay. Alright, so, now that we've done that, we came up from there. Wait, no. We don't have to spin that around. 
Oh wait, side on clone. That it? Maybe so. Okay, but you know, shrine. Yeah, that heads back to Akala. Oh, we're right next to one of those. Wait, no, we did that one already. No, we didn't. What? No. Okay. Yeah, so I'm guessing we knock these down. That guy's gonna eventually come by, mess with those. Oh, hey. Yeah, that translator guy's probably gonna eventually find those and then, you know, translate them. Maybe they all the pieces together lead to a special piece of equipment or something. Didn't work the way I thought it would. I might have messed it up. Okay, we're gonna just... <clears throat> we can always come back there. We are going to fast travel over to... Yeah, back to Elden Tower. <clears throat> Sorry, Cracky Boys. Go back to Elden Tower, we're gonna, yeah, probably launch ourselves toward the forest. Well, it's like up and over the forest is where the next tower is. Let's just play it by ear. Oh, wait, no, Korok Forest is... Over there, my bad. Right? No, that's the Korok Forest. Wait, that's the... Over there's the... Yeah, wasn't that the island covered in shadows that, you know, led to a whole shrine? It was, like, completely dark and you had to... You know, just grope around there, deal with the Hinox and everything. So yeah, that covered in the darkness is definitely the Korok Forest. Oops. You know, going around the Elden Canyon. Another big island there, another big... Right, because isn't it about here where the old Chica Tower used to be. That's where it was. Still a bit of a ways off, but you know, we're getting closer. Let's at least get this tower and then, yeah, I want to backtrack and maybe, yeah, check out the fort. Well, I said, you know, shrine hunting. I better watch my stamina. Still a ways off, but, you know, we covered a lot of ground. Because, yeah, kind of like the forest last time. I'm sure we can't just go in there. We got to come from the entrance and then see what's up. There's a shrine. Huh. 
so curious about the Korok Four. I don't want to completely detour and go just like, oh, let's stop what I was thinking and go to the Korok Forest and see how probably dead the great um, Deku Tree is. I want to say a, a, a Dooku Tree, but it's like, no, that's not right either. Or no, that is, that's not right. Probably a piece of island just landed right on top of him. <laughs> we get there and just where he is is just completely crushed by another temple. And it's just like, oh god. <laughs> they split him in half and he just he's all over the place. Sorry, I just got suspicious, but I suppose that's just a chunk of bone, isn't it? I got nothing to fuse to. That would be interesting, though. Nothing I want to fuse to. I want don't want to attach it to my sword or my boomerang. Sikuku. Uh, Spinning gears. Yeah, you can see the ball drop, so we just gotta... I imagine we see a gear. Rewind is probably an important function. Don't you dare. <laughs> they knew the... They knew that was gonna fall, so they put that block there specifically to stop it from happening. So what do we got? Uh, oh, we actually have to spin the gears. Get it to move so we can rewind it to go up. But where is there? Or... Do it the other way first. Zonite Longsword. Okay, well. I guess I can drop my stupid Halberd combination. Now we spin it the correct direction. Do a couple of spins for good luck. There we go. Nice. You know, I, you know, you could say it's just sort of like, okay, they're not, some of these shrines aren't even as, you know, are about as difficult as some of the previous game shrines, you know, pretty easy more often than not. It's just the mechanics between Rewind and Ultra Hand and Ascension are more complex still, so you just have more to work with. So it makes even the simplest, uh, you know, puzzle feel, at least feel in some ways, more complex than the hardest of the previous game shrines. Can't get me, suckers! I'm gonna have to go back to this great sky island and just stock up on minecart shields. Because now, shield, shield sledding wasn't super viable in a lot of places, 
because I'm gonna drown. Shield sledding wasn't su super viable, especially in rocky areas, because it was just too rough. Um, and, you know, things would probably break before you could get far with it. Meanwhile, though, we have wheels. <laughs> Quarter heart of damage. That's not going to reach. I need to reach my friend. Where is he? My friend and I got separated. I mean, can we just... You know, we'll come back to you. I didn't come here for you. I came here for something important. <laughs> I know, also in the last couple of days, you know, it took less than a day before people started dragging Koroks on a carriage, you know, behind a horse, um, crucified in, on a flaming cross. <laughs> and it's just like, no, I, you know. And people are just like, I think people are being too mean to the Koroks. Like, no. No. Alright, it's this guy again. Hold on. <clears throat> eh? Is that you? You're out of, about late again, late tonight. Sorry, the Skyview Tower is out of order, and maintenance is pro proving tricky. Well, the terminal that starts up the Skyview Tower isn't working. I've checked all the terminal parts, but nothing looks broken. I wonder if something to do with the tower itself is broken. Um... Not sure what he's looking at or what we're looking for. Tower looks fine. These are suspiciously placed. So if we climb up... go up. Whoop. Ah, that's why. This is too high. <laughs> hey you, catch. Didn't quite work. We gotta get a little bit higher to reach that, but we'll go flying. Or if we just... I'm very curious if we just put this back above it slightly. <laughs> no, I don't want to waste the time. There we go. It's discovered the blockage. How in Hyrule? The terminal. It's working again, even though I didn't do anything. I'm just that good. There was some was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower? Hmm. The terminal and the lid on top of the tower are connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly. So I'll head out. I suppose the top is missing if it doesn't affect the terminal. Okay. But there we have it. So yeah, that's interesting. Like, they got rid of the shadows on this island, or they dissipated after Calamity Ganon disappeared. And then, yeah, they just created a new watchtower on this island. So that's fun. You know, it is fun remixing, seeing where, like, all the Sheikah technology 
you know, used to be or um, what is replacing it. We could probably land right on that labyrinth. Yeah, Great Hyrule Forest. I keep calling it the Korok Forest, that's just, you know. It looks like a big island there. It's like right behind us. Just a whole network. There's a shrine there. I'm guessing... Hold on a second. So I'm guessing, you know, crystal missing, go find it at the golem. Mayam Shrine. We just want to see where this, yeah, probably is going to point us in that direction. Okay, so I got to go respond to a text real quick, which is probably going to lead into a phone call. So, yep, to him, no problem. I'll be right back. Okay, back. Uh, gotta go do something, but I got a hard 30 minutes. <laughs> I got a little more leeway than that, but you know, it's like, okay, if I'm gonna give myself a time limit, let's do it 30 minutes. Like, video. Timer says we're at 40. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so. Let's try to do stuff quick. Because I was hoping, it's just like, maybe we can hit up another tower, or at least find... Let's see if we can do this shrine, and then find at least one more, wherever it is. Give us enough homing cart. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Shock emitter. <laughs> what do you want? Sorry, cat's still meowing at me. Don't know when her heat cycle is going to end, but this is all I've been hearing about for the last couple of days, and it's getting really grating. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to keep bringing it up. It's just what's been happening. So if you hear that, that in the background, it's just like, nope, that's just her... She doesn't want attention. She just wants to scream at me. <laughs> okay, so this construct, it's got to be a Mark III at highest. Unless, you know, it's the unveiling of the ultra-powerful Mark IV. And, you know, plenty of arrows, plenty of strong weapons. This thing should go down pretty easily. You know, I'm assuming it's even going to be a high-ranking one. Not quite. What do I want to bash it with? Should go in with something strong. That's going to break, but might as well use it up. Oh, Mark 1. Okay, this is going to be easy. Almost got him before he... Oh, good job, Sidon. Okay, that was a lot better than I expected. I was preparing for the worst. You know, preparing for the... Yeah. Preparing for worse. Preparing for the worst. Sorry. This is fun. Get like a Mark III core and just make it a, you know, a buster. Okay. Now it's how do we get that up there. I suppose we gotta just start by going up and then take another rocket. Well, we got, I got rockets on hand. So what we can do, we can shoot up with this and then I can move sideways with it. Oh, 
Okay, because they got a bunch of rockets here. I'm gonna put you up there, and we're gonna attach you to it so you stay there. That's a lot of beautiful looking rockets. But I don't, probably don't need that many, because if I activate one, it's just gonna send them all off, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, we're still in a good spot, so if I just take... No, don't attach to the... Come on! Wrong course, right? Yes, easy. What the... What am I doing? I'm aiming in the wrong direction, Jesus. Go back, go back. <laughs> oh, I did not think that through. Slightly more inconvenient, but we can still do this. We probably don't even, we could probably just use a fan. We probably didn't even need the second rocket. But you know what? Whatever. Now just don't roll away. That'd be terrible if I it somehow accidentally landed in the catapult. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh no, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, but there we go, shrine. So this one should just be a blessing shrine, right? No, this won't be. North Hyrule Castle Crystal. So yeah, if we find one more shrine, that's, you know, next stamina wheel. Okay, it is a blessing shrine. Sorry, from the inside it looked like something else. Magic rod. Alright. I was curious about something. So we got a magic rod. Okay, it's inert. But if we take something like, you know, we could attach a... Sorry, let's orient. No, Okay. So, you know, we can attach something like a topaz to it and give it, um, electric powers. But, I'm thinking, what if we take a like-like stone? Because, you know, these don't ha add a lot of magical power. In fact, you they even take away in some cases. Suppose a choo-choo jelly would work, too. But let's try, well... Okay. Maybe that didn't work. I suppose that it's jelly, it's not magic. <laughs> I was thinking about like taking a magic rod or a scepter, which is like a two-handed magic rod, which is interesting. But, um, you know, and then attaching a, a like stone to it. And that probably is going to be super good. <clears throat> Sorry. Alright, now I suppose the other thing I'm curious about is we do have, like, this big labyrinth of a thing. So, I suppose we aim... Ooh, hold that thought. Whee! Okay, that flew us farther than I expected. Uh, still too short. Hmm. I just, okay, hold on, I'm having a thought. So what if we take... I don't know if this is- OH GOD! <laughs> It does work! Okay! I was curious! I was just thinking about something. I was like, how do we get a lot of height? Wait a second. Rock- well, we could use a rocket, but I don't want to pull out all the stops for it. Oh, there's nothing up here either. Oh, well, worth a shot. But it's just like, I don't want to pull out all the stops. If 
That was still cool, though. So you could just do that. You can just attach a rocket to a shield and then go. All right. Sorry. I was just curious. Okay. <clears throat> um, now I actually do need to get somewhere, though. So let's take... No, okay. I suppose one rocket's all we really need. That's going to drain a lot of power. This was not the smartest idea. Whatever, we're doing it. Um, then take... Probably having all these fans isn't actually that helpful, but... So just looking at that, I imagine it's like a whole puzzle about ascending. We could probably take this over to that island over there, but let's... Because I imagine as like this big cylinder of islands rotates, we just got to keep going up. No. Nope. Guess not. Well, maybe a different angle. Can't get up that high. Yeah, well, maybe what we could do. <laughs> I'm just gonna miss it. Damn it. Ah. Try to scale that. Okay, so that's awesome, though. And, you know, he even puts his arm up like he's freaking Superman. And it's just like you rocket shield your way up. That's so cool. Okay. I'm really assuming this actually leads to something. I'm spending a lot of my uh, limited time on this. Can't go through it. Is it just like the ah, frick, 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 frick. Turn your body link. Is it just like this particular rock you can't actually ascend through or something, or is it just being picky here? <clears throat> Thank you. 
I mean, once I get to the top, then what? Well, let's find out. <clears throat> Might as well see, there's gotta at least be like a treasure chest or something down up here, right? There's an island in the center, so we can always dive down to that, just for fun. Because, yeah, we're not gonna be able to reach that, so there must be something else we need to do. Nothing. <laughs> well, it was a, still a fun excursion. Yeah, we're still a long ways off. I'm gonna need a lot more rockets, and I just don't have that. Well, worth a shot. This is still really cool, though. Is that really a gotcha thing? Tan. No one of you steward robots. Hold on, let's go after. Ah, fairies. Ah, whatever. No, by type. Should be all the at the bottom. at this one? No. Okay. What's up with you? Don't tell me you knew. I administer this ceremony. The radiant light of the sun warms both body and spirit. Welcome to the, to, to the die ceremony. Where are you ready to begin? It's time for now to show you curse. Come to, God damn it. Could it be? Do you not know the glory of the dive ceremony? How sad for you. I will offer enlightenment. The dive ceremony is a trial for the zone I have youths or used to show their courage and enter into adulthood. Challengers must dive into the sky through the through high above. The goal is to pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. I have a highly desirable outfit for those who can overcome the trial. Really. Does this not sound enticing? Alright, fine. Go through all of the rings. Do not worry about the time limits. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I suppose this is the island I was trying to get up to. Or, er, no. Wait. Yes? No? Hmm. Yeah, this was what I was trying to get to. Oh, well. I didn't activate the trial, did I? Maybe I should just die. <laughs> I was next to the thing, and I thought... Okay, I thought it's like, oh, it's already on. The time is now set for you to come... Okay, try it again. <clears throat> Uh, may this lead to a secret shrine. Some reason, like, oh, it's active, right? No. All right, let's see what this is about. Bravery Island, Great Hyrule Forest Sky. And that was just the trial run. Hey, there we go. It does lead to a shrine. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go to that first. Because that was just the trial run, right? Or was that it? Did I misread? Did I misunderstand? A Simo Siwak. Uh, 
okay, at least we found our fourth shrine, because I'm running out of time here. Weapon durability. Shrine in prisons and purifies the ancient evil. Okay, it's an even tide thing. Alright, proving grounds, lights out. should have thought about that differently. Okay, the thing is we just need to find a weapon. Wow, what? Sorry, cat. Okay. We're going. Okay. Taking those rupees. Whatever you're planning to do with them, you can't do it. He's doing something with them. I suppose we just gotta take this. Oh wait, how can we hit it? expect them to explode like that. Okay. the bigger one, so I don't want to use... I'm too close. God damn it. Those explode in a pretty big radius. I just gotta kill one of them. Well, I suppose. Well, we don't have a weapon to even use a sneak strike. Stupid that way. Okay. Hold on. Sorry, I'm also running out of time here. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Drop the shield. Come on.
close. I thought that would go farther. There we go. Okay, those are pretty destructive, actually. I didn't think about using a gem as a grenade. <clears throat> cool. Alright, definitely an interesting setup. Just caught off guard trying to find a single weapon, and I missed it the first time. Right, Elixir? I suppose... No, my equipment's gone. I couldn't do that. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, could have done that. <clears throat> Light of blessing. Probably don't have time to actually go and turn that in, but hold on. We should wrap up. Let me talk to that one guy real quick. So was that just it, or was there something else to this? Your superb technique suggests that I've done this. You have done this before. Greatness from the real samurai. This time's come. Okay. One zone I charge. Sure. Find them in abundance. If I lose them, I can break you open and take one. Do all the rings within 35 seconds. I think we did that already. So it was the same trial. I got it. There we go. A lot of time to spare. I say that, it's just like, no, it's a generous time limit, it seems like. Uh, what an unbelievably magnificent showing. This is proof of your maturity. You have more than earned it. Glide tights? Really? This sewn by tights allows the wearer to glide more easily as they plummet from the sky. Interesting. You are faster and more courageous than any I have, any I have witnessed. Take this in honor of your incredible record. Large zone I charge. Okay, cool. Mr. Special is a record holder. Please state your name. Link? Gross. Do you want to take another attempt? I don't suppose we'll get another piece of glide clothing. One last try. Then we better wrap up because I got stuff to do. I suppose, can we equip our... Few seconds faster. It certainly feels like you have more move. You know, you can move more. Okay, so cool though. We get like glide pants, so that's fun. All right, I gotta wrap up. So let's just turn this in real quick, and then we can consider it good. Okay, but there we go. Hit up some towers, got at least one more chunk, you know, got one more chunk of uh, light to go towards that next stamina wheel. And, you know, glide pants. So I'm assuming maybe there are other um, trials like that to get us more pieces of the glide suit. You know, I don't suppose, you know, is it's probably not like Far Cry where it's like an actual wingsuit that replaces the paraglider. Uh, but that'd be interesting. Okay. So we're going to turn this in real quick, then we'll wrap up. Lights a blessing. Da -da 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 -da. You also have Sage's Will for four. Sage's Will is going to offer a bomb of Sage. Okay. Let's just see. Uh, if you didn't know about this. So that's what they're for. Solemn Vow Sidon, Sage of Water. Sage of the Sidon, Sage of Water. Force your bomb with Sidon has increased this avatar's attack power. Okay, cool. So we can just give those passive bonuses to 
everybody. Okay, I'm not done yet. Okay, so that's what the Sage's Will does. So we get enough of those, we can upgrade the uh, passive abilities of, um, yes, sorry, of the Sages that we have recruited. So that's interesting. So probably like attack power boost, maybe recharge boost, something like that. So that's what the Sage's Wills do. Okay, and like everything you need for. Alright. And with that, we've made progress. We'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, probably more shrine and, you know, more shrine and tower hunting. Four towers to go? So if we go from, like, the Gerudo Tower, we can probably just cover all of Hebra, you know, pretty quickly. We shall see. That is the next place I want to go. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Samara, signing off.